Hey folks, I think we're live. All right, I wanted to come in here and I wanted to grab the link. It's the only way I could think of to grab the link for the uh, for the broadcast so I can share it. So if anyone hops in here, well, let me try something. Uh, no, this happened right now. Edit. YouTube.com. No, I don't think that's right. All right, I got to give some people some time to search. They may sorry if you're watching or if you're rewatching, and we have this intro. Uh, I will timestamp it, but it's six fifty four, and I'm going to start at seven. So if you want to fast forward six minutes, you'll probably get there. Um, <clears throat> so let me let people know that I'm live now on the book. Facebook. How about the new Facebook? I'm better. Okay. Google Martial Arts. Okay. I am live now. Search on YouTube. Okay, that's good. And Slack. I'm going to paste that into Slack. Okay, cool. All right, trip got me. All right, so. I'm going to post this, say, I'm live now for the BJJ workout. Oh, OK. Cool. Well, let me start. OK, I got this pulled up. Hey, Trip, talk to Trip. I know you're in here. Oh, a couple people are in here. Very good. Like I said, um, I'm going to start right at 7. That's four minutes from now, so if you want to grab a whatever you got to grab uh, or if you're re-watching this and you want to fast forward three minutes uh, three minutes left I'm also going to turn on Facebook live while we're here nice view. Um, say something in chat though if you're if you're in there on on YouTube let me know who you are I know trip is one of them my buddy trip start my video Okay, great. YouTube is live and Facebook is live. So hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. Um, I'm early, so I'm a few minutes early. Um, if you're just tuning in on um, the Facebook Live, give it like, you know, two and a half minutes is when I'm going to actually start. What's going on? Hey, Tom's one of my guys in here. What's up, Tom? Thanks for saying hi on YouTube. Um, it's a pretty cool little, uh, it's actually a pretty easy, cool setup. Um, it, it's easy enough to say like, Hey, keep doing this. Let's go. Greg's, uh, Greg, what are you wearing? Are you wearing your spats or are you just like in jeans and stuff? Maybe what are you wearing? Or something? Taylor, uh, Taylor's here. Good. Steve Ross is here. Good. Okay. I'm really glad that I'm uh, broadcasting on YouTube then if uh, that is another place people are really able to come in and use it. So that's great. Um, today I'm going to be doing uh, a workout. Um, 
uh, that I planned that's going to specifically, it's, it's like you're in a guard class. It's like we're teaching guard tonight. It's guard week. You're going to be doing some guard stuff. So we're going to do a warm up, like a warm up before class. And we're going to do a uh, guard movement. Some of those will be like warm up type movements, but we'll actually do like technique type movements uh, as well. I actually have a list long enough. I'm not sure we're going to get to all of it. Um, so, uh, in, well, I don't know if we're going to get to all of it by 7.30. I asked Katie if it was okay if I went over a little bit. Katie, um, for you two people that might not know, is going to do you, uh, yoga for, for the people on my Facebook group afterwards. So I'm going to try to end on time for her, um, but I definitely don't want to start early because we still got people showing up. Oh, like Katie herself just got here. So what's up, Katie? Hi, um, hey, Amber. So, yeah, even parents. So I, I absolutely recommend that kids do this too. I can, uh, 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 you know, this will be a clean broadcast with just like workouts, right? So if you want to do it with your kids, I know uh, my student Nick the other day sent a picture. He was doing it with his kid. I know that, um, Tom, you might be with Eli right now. Um, so no problem at all to have kids do this. None of this stuff is too impossible to do. It'll make the most sense. <laughs> okay. It'll make the most sense if, um, uh, to kids if they've done jujitsu before, but You'll see me doing it. So there's nothing I'll do, they can't do, you can't do if you haven't done jujitsu before. But this is a jujitsu based workout. Everyone is welcome. Everyone could do this. So this is, this is going to be a good one. And uh, I'm going to get set up to start reading off my computer screen. So I'm going to say, um, you two people, I won't be able to see your comments. Okay. Um, uh, Facebook Live people, I will be able to see your comments. But pretty much I'm going to ignore comments until 7. 29 when I when I sort of stop and make time for for Katie here Who said whatever I don't have anything else to do or something. I'm not busy. She said so if we go over She'll be forgiving. I'm sure Okay, so I'm gonna give it one minute, but I got my list up I wonder if There's a better way I can See this Present present sounds exciting Does that Give me a big screen. I sure does Yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, I can even do that Cool. All right. All right, I'm going to start. That's it. So stand up. We're going to do this. I actually just move your hands and fingers and your toes and ankles. Probably going to have to do your feet one at a time, but I want to, we're going to warm up the body. Let's start from the end of the extremities. Again, we're going to do jumping jacks. I don't want anyone pulling a muscle in their ankle doing something as silly as a jumping jack. So warming it up is moving it. Move it. It's not, it's not even stretching, it's just move it. Move it like you're gonna, like it's twisting. You can probably hear mine popping, right? So let's do this for just a moment. What's up, Mary just joined us? Or I just got news that Mary joined us. Okay, flexing and extending. That's fun. Very cool looking. Okay, let's do knee and hip circles. So knee circles. Interesting circles. Look at them too, are, those, are they round? We're going one way. Try to make them big circles. Go the other way. Are they round? Okay, hip circles. Going one way. This is, let's establish our range of motion, right? Take it to the edge on all sides. Hey, Logan, I hope you're ready to work here. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna give Logan the least good workout he's ever had. Logan is our Okay, other way with the hip circles. All right, good. Let's do, uh, shake it out a little bit. Let's do neck warm up. So uh, look left, look right. Look up, look down. Don't look back. Don't overextend your neck. Up is great. And then down. If you try to retract your chin like this way while you do it, while you look up and down, give it a little bit more stretch on the spinal muscles and your C spine. Push it down. Okay. Let's do ear to shoulder. And then we're gonna move. Shoulder. Sorry, last one. We're actually gonna let's roll your neck. Circle. Let's 
screen message is coming through the right now. Other way with the neck. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna alternate between jumping jacks. We're gonna do 20 jumping jacks, and then we're gonna do, uh, well, actually, don't do 20. Let's do this. Since I can't see you, and so that we don't stagger, do jumping jacks till I say switch. When I switch, let's do lying leg circles. Lying leg circles when you lay on your back and you draw circles with your feet like this, okay? These are, these are I'm not moving my hips much. If you, when you get going, your hips should move side to side, but work your way up to that. Let's do uh, jumping jacks first. We're gonna do them for, uh, I'm gonna do them for what I think will be, I'm gonna do 60 reps, so it'll be something like 60 seconds, all right? So let's do jumping jacks, go ahead. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, twenty one, twenty two. Whatever your pace is, you do them. Don't you don't have to go at my same pace, but I'll tell you when we hit a minute. Okay, so just be doing them for a minute is great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-three, fifty-four, When I get to 60, you're done. Fifty six, seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. Lay down. And let's do leg circles. Get right to them. I watched my video back last time. And one of my legs is way better at this than the other one. I'm going in like just a line back and forth. So try to make them round. Look at your feet. Look at the trails. Hopefully you guys who are alive in the 60s and 70s don't have to make trails. You can go the other way. This is the way that my left foot is less adept. I'm working. Okay, leg circles. Go back the way you started. I basically I'm shooting for a minute on this too. And when I said alternate, we're gonna do that whole thing one more time. That means the jumping jacks, other way, and then the leg circles. My left leg. Yeah. You can do it, buddy. All right. There we go. I need to move my hips more. That, that didn't help actually. Okay, jumping jacks. Hop back up. When I hit 60, you're down. You go at your pace, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, you're halfway. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, four, three, two, one, sixty. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do leg circles again, just for a minute. Okay. Now, if you want to put your hands under your sacrum, you can. That helps me because it puts my hips in the air and they can move even more. Or you can just move them side to side. But there's a there's a way to move your hips with this movement. That's a good hip, good hip warm up. It does help me to put my elbows on the floor. Other way, You're so much better this way. Do this one. Okay, good. Now, we're gonna do this. Like you're in the guard, you're gonna sw swim the hands. Imagine that their person is here, their hands are on your stomach, you're gonna swim their hands off. So you're gonna bridge, swim their hands off, and then you're gonna uh, pull them. So 
Cross your feet, have your feet crossed. What's the best angle for this? This is probably the best angle for this. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Your feet can be crossed on the floor that you're gonna to need to lift your hips. So I'm gonna do this. Lift my hips and draw circles and then bring my feet to the ceiling. That's me taking away the posts and breaking their posture, okay? So let's do, uh, let's do a few of these, I'll tell you when, right? So hips up, circles, feet to the ceiling. Hips up, circles, that's knocking their hands off. Bring them forward with your legs, okay? That feels like I'm swimming, All right? Hips up, put their hands on the ground, bring them forward. Hips up, put their hands on the ground, bring them forward. Put their hands on the ground by your hips, right? We don't just break them off and let them put their hands anywhere they want. Break their hands off, draw small circles, put them down by your hips, and then bring the feet up. Okay, it's ab night if you can't tell. Okay, and one more. Hips up, circle, bring them forward. Okay. So, airplane drill. Airplane drill is fun. Airplane drill is this. We're gonna do, if you can do it with your feet on the floor, try to do that. I have my wings out uh, with, it, with your feet not on the floor. But if you need your feet on the floor, that helps you, you can do that. I basically have my wings out like an airplane and I'm swooping from this side to this side and I'm slapping the ground, okay? So uh, I'm gonna do 20, okay? So one, two, all the way as far left as I can go and then all the way as far right as I can go. I think that's eight, nine, 10, 11. So I'll really reach as high with your hand as you can. You've seen 17, 18, 19, 20. So I already have a burn in my abs. Maybe you do too. It is uh, certainly ab night. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna hip escape and then we'll re replace our foot. So it's gonna look like this. Uh, put my feet on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna hip out, draw a circle. Oh, now we're gonna start, start with your two feet. Your feet can be apart on the ground. So my feet are apart on the ground. I'm gonna hip out, draw a circle, put my foot back and come back in. The circle should be, my heel comes uh, not away from me first, but it comes toward my butt and then up. That's the circle you're drawing, okay? So you're gonna hip back, draw a circle, put your, replace your heel, pull yourself back forward. You should end up in the same place, okay? And then the other side. Hip out, draw a circle, put your foot down and replace. Let's do this till I say stop, okay? So, so I sh sh shrimp out essentially. Draw a circle, and then shrimp back in. Shrimp, circle, reverse shrimp. Shrimp, circle, reverse shrimp. I'm really trying to picture as I do this that a person has underhooked my leg. They have started passing, they've reached under my leg. So I hip out so my hip is heavy. I circle around their arm to unentangle my leg. Put it back and come back. Keep going. Hip out, circle, replace. Hip out, circle, replace. Hip out, circle. Place, let's do three more. Hip out, circle, place. Two, three. Okay, let's hip out, circle, and replace. So let's pretend that our leg was thrown. Let's put our feet apart again. Let's, we're saying, pretending like our feet are on their hips. They're kneeling in front of us, and you're in the guard. You have your feet on my hips, right there. Okay, let's pretend that they grabbed our legs and they threw them to the side. What happens when someone does that? What's I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rock up with it, okay? So let's do it this way. I'm gonna come up to my elbow when my legs are thrown. So start with your legs up, and when they're thrown, come up to your elbow. So I'll do that again, from different angles. I'm gonna start like this, give you a good neck distance. My legs are gonna get thrown to the side, and I'm gonna come up onto my elbow. So I allow them to be thrown, okay. I come out to my elbow. Last piece is I'm gonna add that C grip. Presumably they reached around this leg or, or they grabbed my ankles and threw them and their arm will be left behind here. I'm gonna C grip their arm, that's the last piece. So feet to the ceiling, they fall to the side, you come up on your elbow and I just wanna see you extend this arm away. So as they fall, I rock up and I push this away and then I hip escape and I replace, okay? So I'm gonna do, let's go back and forth. Let's fall to the other side. So I'm gonna rock up to my elbow and I push away with my arm. And then I'm gonna hip escape and replace. 
they try to figure out the best angle for you guys on this. My feet are up. They go to the side, I come on my elbow, I hit the stiff arm, hip escape, and I'm back. Other side, feet up, feet to the side, elbow up, extend your arm, hip escape, back to seated. Okay. Come up, hip escape, and we're here. Feel the legs, rock up to your elbow, hip, uh, seat with your arm, hip escape, create distance, come back down. Let's do a couple more. Let's do four more. Boom, that's one side. Two. Three. Last one. Four. Okay. I hope that was clear on there. All right. Okay. This time, you've done some of these. So if you've been in my class, my guard retention class, you've done some of these. We, we're actually going to sort of skip through them because there's no other person, so some of them are moot. Now I'm going to pretend someone grabbed over my legs like this. Someone passing, coming up this way. And they did a double overhook. So you guys know that what we have to do is sit up, block their shoulder, and escape this way. It's like a bear trap, if you guys have ever done bear traps with me, where we're here and we scoot back, except we don't have the luxury of this leg being up. We have to do this. It's all on our hand, right? That looked, that looked funny on Facebook to me. Okay, so we're gonna do this, but we're gonna start on our back. So it's gonna be a legs flat, your leg totally flat. You're gonna sit up, put the hand on the shoulder, and put your other hand on the ground behind you, scoot back, two, three. Then go back, same thing, other side. Sit up, block the shoulder. One, two, three. Same thing. Sit up, block the shoulder. One, two, three. Keep going. Sit up, block the shoulder, plant your hand. One, two, three. Sit up, block the shoulder. One, two, three. You're trying to push their shoulder. You can extract your legs. Sit up, hand planted, block the shoulder. Hip, hip, hip. Do one more your side from totally flat. Sit up, block the shoulder. One, two, three. Your side. Sit up, block the shoulder. One, two, three. Okay. Good. All right. And that's it for all of our hip escape guard retention movements. We're also going to do guard attacks today. But first, just a little bit of our retention stuff, which is retention comes down essentially. In my mind, the, the big two are going to be hip escaping and Granby rolling. So now we're on Granby rolling, and we want to do this. I'm going to have somebody here. Same thing. We're going to start here, and our legs are going to be thrown. So let's throw our legs to the side. This time what we're going to do is when my legs get thrown to the side, I'm going to come onto my shoulder, my foot, and then my, my knee. I get thrown, I come onto my shoulder. It's almost like I'm gonna go get up onto turtle, but I leave one shoulder down, and I don't go quite so far that this knee comes down to the floor also, just to here. And now I'm gonna draw, this is convenient, I have this nice big circle here. I'm gonna draw a big circle and go back to neutral. My legs get thrown, I come up onto my shoulder, knee, and foot, draw a big circle with my foot, and I'm back. Feet get thrown, so now let's do them. Feet get thrown the other way, I'm gonna go Almost turtle. Move to my shoulder, knee, and foot. Sorry. And then draw a big circle. This way. In a circle. Legs get thrown. But I go with it. Big circle. Legs get thrown. Left. I come up to my left shoulder. Left knee, right foot. Big circle with your right foot and your back. If you get thrown to the right, I come onto my right shoulder and right knee, but not left knee my left toes, and then draw a big circle, okay? Let's do a few. You wanna get your butt way up in the air too and get thrown here, but way up in the air. Good, two more. Okay. Those are our first Grammys. That's what we're gonna be doing. Where are they? If my legs are pinned, whoops, to the side. Okay, some of you guys have 
Right, there we go. There it is. My legs are pinned to the side, like someone has already pinned my knees here. What I want to do is come onto that shoulder and pop that knee out, and then come back to the ground. Right. Somebody pushes my knees to the side and they pin them to the floor. I'm going to come onto this shoulder. So start laying down. Knees get pinned, and I'm going to come. I'm going to go the rest of the way. I'm going to get pinned here. Come back. We do it from the other angle. Someone pins my knees to the side. They would be going behind me, but I sort of put my butt in the way and I come up to this same shoulder and left knee and my right foot comes around. If they pin them right, I'm going to go with it. It's okay. I'm going to put my right knee underneath myself and then draw that big circle. If they pin left, I post, post my left knee essentially put my butt in the air. Big circle with your leg and your back. Right, come to your right knee. Big circle in your back. You pin your knees left. You come out to your left knee and shoulder. Right foot draws a big circle. So two more. They pin right, right shoulder, right knee. Big circle. They pin left. You're gonna go with it. Put your left knee underneath yourself. Big circle with your right foot. And your back. Okay. Like that. Okay, let's do this crazy, crazy legs, open guard drill. And it looks like this. You can lay flat. One leg's gonna go across like this. And the bottom leg is gonna go underneath and then draw a big circle to the other side. But you're not done. Now you can loop this. This one comes underneath. And then over to this side. Okay, so crazy legs. Let's do it for like 30 seconds, right? It's a good, good deal of weeks, good, I mean, there's, a, there's body stuff that we're doing, but this is a fantastic guard skill too. So let's do it for 30 seconds. Go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they take one second, so I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Halfway there, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Four. It really helps me to bring my knee to my chest. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Third. Good. Crazy legs. Okay. So, friend. so it's a good, good practice you can get into, which is any time that your guard gets broken open. If I'm in your guard, right? You put my hand on your knee, and I pin it to the floor, and your legs pop open. Best plan for you is to have a plan before I do it. So instead of letting me open on my terms, I'm starting to make progress and then I, I'm gonna push it down. As soon as I put my hand here, I lean and either I'm a big guy or I've done this before for whatever reason, you know it's gonna succeed for me. Don't wait, you open first and you open on your terms if you, you're the one that decides to open. So when someone starts pushing down on one of my knees, I will open, sit up, and frame. This hand is on the shoulder of the person who was just pushing this down. Their hands here. So my hand's on their shoulder, and then my frame, my forearm, is like under their chin. So there's no good way to go down. This is like under their chin. They can't go down, and they can't move forward. Nobody wants to put their throat across that any harder. So I actually have paused the motion here. It's possible even for me to get up. Uh, we might do that in a second. So let's do this. Uh, and some, imagine someone starts pushing your leg down. So you just put it down, reach up for their shoulder, and frame. Come into this, this is the kind of position we can technical stand up from. So let's do it on both sides. Let's go. Pretend someone's about to push down your left leg. Reach up with your right arm, hold their shoulder, post on your left hand, and you get into this position here. Somebody goes to push your right knee down. You're going to reach across, open your own right knee, put it on the floor, reach across with your left hand, right? Put your hand on the floor. It's much better than your elbow in terms of your mobility. Let's do that a few times. Someone's about to push this knee down, my left knee down. So I do, I open and I go here. Now I'm up on my hand, a lot of mobility. Could, could even stand. They push your right knee, come up on that side. They push your left knee, reach across, come up on that side. Start pushing my right knee and I know he's gonna get it. Left hand to the shoulder, with my left knee, right hand to the shoulder. Put my hand on the ground, I'm hipping back a little bit. All the hip freedom I could want. 
is my goal. Is to push this, so I reach across, and I come up to my hand. Hit back a little, hit your base. Just do a few of these. Oh, to my elbow. To your hands. Push this down. I'm on my hand. Push this one down. I'm on my hand. One more each side. Right? And I'm not waiting for them to open my legs because with their big brutal strength, I open my legs. And I sit up on my terms. That's really big. And uh, it's a good plan for your jiu jitsu. Uh, okay. Let's move this on. Okay. Ooh, very important postures. Yeah. Let's do the same thing. But this time, let's take advantage, like I said, of the ability that we have now to get up to our knees, it's essentially standing up in base or getting up in base to your knees. So it's the same thing. Someone's going to win. So I don't let them win. I, I open it. I sit up and I get to here. And then I come up to my knees. Okay, I go push down the other one. I block, I come up to my knees. Back all the way out. There's no reason you have to be under anybody. So you're here, just come up to your knees, right? This is an exit strategy from guard. You're here. I'm blocking. I, I not only do I back up, I back up onto my knees. Taylor, are you smashing that love button right now? Three. Back up here. I go to push my left knee. I reach across my right hand. I come up all the way to my knees. Now, yeah. it might not be on this first scoop. Push my right leg down, left hand to the shoulder. I get my balance. Then I can get up. Let's do one more each side. Here. And now we're in a neutral position. Last one. Okay. No reason to hang out there for no reason on the bottom. Okay, scooting. We need our we need our scooting. And as uh, what did, it's not Dan Hur talks about this actually on his DVD. He talks about how it's so maligned. People don't like scooting, but that it is useful. Totally true. Totally true. Scooting is useful. This is what we do when we do bear traps in class. That's that's essentially scooting. And you can back up not only backwards but also forward. I can scoot toward you. I'm um, essentially all the motion is happening. 